I liked a guy. I didn't think I was his spec. And here's what happened. I started looking at the ladies that I felt he liked. The ladies that he talked more with. And I started taking note of the way they dressed, the way they talked, their courage and all that. And I started adopting their behaviors and their interests, even though that was not true to who I was, to who I am. Hoping that somehow this guy was going to take note of me. <laughs> but he didn't. And it was very exhausting, but I kept on putting on this fake front. But after a while, you know what I did? I said, hmm, to hell with this. I'm done. And I went back to being myself. And you know what? That was when this guy actually took notice of me and we started talking. Don't ask me what happened afterwards. <laughs> Here's what I wanted to learn from this story. So many times we try to be different things to different people. And majority of the time we try to fake it because we want to appeal to a certain audience, to a certain person. But the truth is, if you are not authentic, you are going to get burnt out. You're going to get bitter along the way because you can only be fake for so long and it is very, very exhausting. So who are you trying to impress? How are you not showing up as your authentic self? Which rooms do you enter and you have to show up as a different person? Who is making you to compromise on who you are? In what places are you making decisions that betray the person you are at your core? show us who you are when you show us the real you we are going to love you for who you are and no matter how many masks you put on people are loving you in ignorance and the truth is if people can love you in ignorance people are going to love you still for who you are maybe not the same set of people but the audience that really deserves to know you are going to come back so be authentic be yourself the right people are going to come by.